Okay, what's good, YouTube? We back with another one. It's your boy Scale. I'm here with my wife Tugs. Before y'all do anything, I need y'all to go hit that bell at the bottom of the page. All right, now we're gonna jump this off, right? Um, I I, I got this topic that I want to discuss, right? And it's about how do grown-ups feel about having sex in the house when they have kids? That's a topic I want to jump off today on this channel, right? Because I feel like uh, it's kind of hard. And, and you, could, you, could, you could critique me on this if I'm wrong, but it's kind of hard having sex or finding time to have sex in the house when you have kids or little kids. For one, I got a three-year-old, a four-year-old, I got a six-year-old, seven-year-old, right? Seven? Eight. Got an eight-year-old and I got a nine-year-old. And I got a 16-year-old, which my 16-year-old son doesn't stay with me, right? So I, I mainly got my three little girls. And that's the most, uh, that's basically what I want to talk about today is finding time to have sex with your significant other when kids are around. What would you say about that? I don't have no problem with it. What's wrong when they go to sleep, you handle your business, and that's it. I, I, I understand where she's coming from when they do go to sleep, but you got little kids that fake sleep nowadays. You know, you go in there, you sleeping, they try to make it seem like they're sleeping, but soon you turn your back, they up watching yeah, TV or they you, talking. But then you make sure that they are fully asleep. I'm not, I'm not saying when they're still up, still bouncing around the house. It's when they, you got to make sure they're fully asleep. When okay, they're fully what, asleep. What, what if one wake up out of a dream and come busting in your room? Well, by the time they do all that, we should be finished. Damn, that sound... I, I guess, right? Uh, but what the, what the hell you gonna wait up? You gonna wait up all night until this one finally go to sleep? The day into your business by then? Shit, I, I'll probably be asleep by then. I don't know. You two, what y'all think? Comment at the bottom. Give us your, give us some feedback on that. Cause I feel like I think it's kind of hard having sex with kids in the house. No, it's not. Get like, a lock. Uh, you you can't you can't do what you really want to do. You know you got it's like you got to basically sneak. No, our parents didn't you, sneak. We knew what that mean when that mean the door closed. That mean don't come in. We well, know see, exactly what that mean. And, I and I'm quite didn't know what sure. That mean. My parents, I never, I stayed with my I'm grandmother. I'm quite for sure one. everybody can you vouch for saying? this. So my grandmother wasn't that type of person to be closing the door. We was living. It was seven, eight of us in one house. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't have that privilege of seeing, you know, or hearing or nothing. I, I never had that privilege. So I didn't say I had, I had, I had the privilege of hearing or hearing my mother having sex, but you know at Young age, your parents told you when that door's closed, do not come in my room. That that was that was, and I'm quite a lot of people can vouch for this. When you saw your parents' room door closed, that mean don't come barging and don't even knock. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. You too. What y'all think? I need y'all to go comment below. Let us know what y'all think about that subject. Right? I got another subject. Right? I know somebody that's actually married. Right? And. He actually caught his wife cheating, right? And uh, how can I put it? Um, he actually put a tracker on her car to monitor her movements. He actually caught up with her and seen that she was actually cheating with another man. How would y'all feel about that situation? Or what would y'all do in that situation if, if the shoe was on the other foot? See, it's probably going to be harder for men because men don't like to see that. They they don't know how to react to their significant other cheating. Because in all reality... I would have packed the bags. She got to go immediately. But when you marry, there's certain situations and steps you got to take in order just to put your wife out. No. You know, you can't just say, oh, she's cheating. That's your word against us in a court of law. 
Yeah, but that's now, not if your wife true, files though. for alimony, but that is true. If your wife files for alimony, yeah, she the, can take alimony. You got to prove that she did something wrong. I understand that, but as far as alimony, she just don't want to get alimony. You no. have to ask for alimony. Can can y'all please subscribe at the bottom and, and comment at the bottom and please let her know which woman in their right mind that's going to be married to a man is not going to file for alimony. Right, I understand that. Yes, some women, majority women majority are, are, are women. going to ask, but you have to ask. You making it seem like you automatically get alimony. Don't work like that. You have to request for alimony. Granted, yes. But you but, like she's not going to request for alimony. Yeah, she's going to ask for it, but who says she's going to get it under the circumstances? She, he she got to prove it was, that it was, she cheated. It was infidelity in the marriage. Yeah. It was infidelity in on the marriage. On both ends, on, I guess. On both ends. But, like I said, it was infidelity in both marriage. And if he has proof that she committed infidelity, then she might not even, she might not get granted alimony. You got, and plus you got to look at certain laws in certain states. I don't know what state they live in. I don't know how they, how they laws regulate. You got, you got to look at the laws in the state they live in. They may have different rules and regulations of, on divorce. I guess, I guess that's so. I guess that's so. I know in my case, I probably would have just said, forget alimony and everything. You got to go. That's just how my temple, my temple would have been boiling. I just know I'm that type of person. Pack your bags. You got to go right now. See, now we're hearing it from a man perspective of he want you will say you will put your wife out. So she got to go put her bags out, right? On the other side of it, when men do it, what do us women do? We forgive. Some women forgive. Yeah, some. No, majority. Majority. Some, 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 some forgive. They ain't gonna forget. But some forgive. They give men how many chances? And what men do? They repeat the cycle all over again. Until a woman get fed up. Then that's when she put the man out. Well, you know, like, you know. I, I guess, I guess you could say that. I guess you can say no, that. No, it, it's true. It's true, though. But, but like I said. You got some women that stern and yeah, will put your you bags out. They'll bleach your clothes. They'll burn your shit. You do. You got women that do some real trifling, key your you car. Do. They do some type of crazy you shit. Do. But then y'all come back with a saw bad story. And what us women do? Take your sorry asses back and y'all do it all over fucking again. Damn, why well, we got to be sorry, guys, right? Because some of y'all, some men are sorry. Some men are sorry. And I want y'all to comment at the bottom of this. At the bottom of this video, let us know what y'all think and what topics that we should discuss next week. Uh, until next time, peace. We love y'all. Tugs and Nashell, we signing off. Definitely make sure you subscribe to the to the channel and comment at the bottom. Give us y'all responses. Peace. <laughs>